what is up guys and welcome to today's video we're going to be setting the IX steps on the Phytec Ultimate LS uh, EFI system uh, this is a very important step if you want to get the most out of your system to have your car run the best and to have your tune learn with the correct data so we're going to go through the steps and the process of how I did to set my IX steps. Once I got this down, it did change the whole drivability of this system. Drives way better, tunes way better, way better response. So it's a very important step. We're going to go through and show you exactly how I did it. And there was a couple issues that I did run into that I hopefully can show somebody else and save them a lot of time and headache. So if you think this video helped you, do me one favor, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, uh, and leave a comment on this video. I appreciate all the support, guys. Now let's jump right into it. Okay, guys, before we go ahead and start setting the IX steps, there's a couple things that we need to do first. And the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and start the car, let it run in idle to get up to operating temperature. you got to be above 170 degrees Fahrenheit before you start the process. So we're going to go ahead put you guys down, pull the car out, warm it up, and then after it's warmed up, we're gonna go to the next step. Okay guys, while we wait for the engine to get up to operating temp before we set the IX steps, we're going to let it warm up, get it to above 170 degrees Fahrenheit. So once it warms up, we'll go through and we'll go ahead and start the process on setting the IX steps. All right, guys, I'm trying to get as less glare as possible, but on the next step, we're going to go to our large gauges, select enter. We're going to turn on the RPM. We're going to go down and turn on the coolant. We're going to turn on the TPS, and we're going to turn on the IAC reading right there. Once we get these on, click enter. Now we've got all of our big steps, our big readings, so it's easier to see on the next step. Okay guys, so we started the car, we've let it idle down. We've got 26 as the IAC reading. We need to get that reading between zero and 10. I prefer around zero to three, uh, just to get the best reading. So we're gonna go through and set that. Keep an eye on your TPS, make sure that's reading zero. I'm gonna show you why here in a second. Okay guys, this next step's pretty simple. You only need basically a Phillips screwdriver and a set of Allen wrenches only. If you are running the factory Phytec throttle body and you're having issues where you cannot get your Phytec or your IX step set below 30 or 40 and your TPS is not reading zero, if you look right over here on the TPS sensor, you see where there is two sets of screws there's two sets of screw holes that this TPS sensor can go in. When I've got my um, Phytec throttle body, it was in the wrong screw hole. I cannot get my IX steps below 40 and my throttle or my TPS sensor was reading around three. You cannot set your, um, your IX steps until your throttle TPS is reading zero, so what you have to do is unbolt those two screws and rotate your TPS sensor to the other set of holes. Give that a shot, man. I really was struggling with that for a while until I found that issue out. So, and also, if you're running a cheap $40 or $50 eBay throttle body, do yourself a favor and throw it away. Those things are not up to the standard or not up to the quality that you need to run your system correctly. Cheap throttle bodies are cheap for a reason. So go ahead, do yourself a favor, get a better throttle body. I went with the Phytec, and as soon as I put this throttle body on, 
what a difference it made on this car. So I, I'm using the Phytech system. So on my mind, I'm gonna stick with the Phytech throttle body. That has made a huge difference. I had a China one on there. My IX steps would not stay set properly. Everything was bouncing around. It was really throwing off the rest of my tune. So do yourself a favor, get a good quality throttle body. Okay guys, so our throttle, our IX steps are reading around 25. So what we're gonna do is with the car off, the TPS gets reset to zero. We're gonna take our flat, our Phillips screwdriver and we're gonna turn this in a quarter of a turn at a time. So I'm gonna turn that in a quarter of a turn. I'm gonna start the car, let it idle down and see what the IX steps reading are now. Okay, now after letting the car idle up and idle down, our IX steps are reading 11. So we're getting a lot closer and like I said, our TPS is reading zero, that's an important step. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the screw in one more quarter of a turn and see what that gets us. So basically on your throttle body, every time we turn the screw in, we're lowering the IX and when we turn the screw out, we're raising the IX. So basically what we're doing is we're just opening that throttle blade just enough to let enough air pass by to get a smooth idle. So once we let it idle down, we're back to about 11. We're gonna do one more quarter of a turn start it up and we're going to see what it gets to now all right we're going to start it up one more time and just see where the ix steps land you know every once in a while my tps will read 0.5 i'm not exactly sure why it does that but we're going to see let it idle down and see exactly where the ix steps land on and if we're happy with that between the 0 and 10 range which is recommended by Phytech. I like to get it as close to 0 as possible. Um, it seems to work out that way. I'm bouncing between 0 and 3. I think I'm pretty happy with that so we're gonna go ahead and button everything up and I think we're good to go. Alright guys there you have it. We got our IX step set properly. We're between the 0 and 10 range which is recommended by Phytech. Um, do yourself a favor, if you've had trouble setting your IX steps, go through into your system on the handheld, refresh everything, reload your tune, start fresh. That way your system will learn with the correct IX steps. It's gonna idle a lot better and run way better. So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you thought it was helpful, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the support. Peace.